So I read the directions on my camera and I guess I had it in like mountain mode. That's why I would be so close to something when I was so far away. Um, this is that 80 year old speaker cabinet. I bought a little $15 dual voice coil speaker to put inside of it. Uh, this is just a test fit. I got the speakers connected and all that stuff. Uh, it does work, works good, but I gotta beat this up. And I gotta paint it uh, with some airbrush and make some lines on it like uh, wear and tear. And I got the elevator and I got one of the ailerons done. I have to wet sand this one. Actually, I have to paint it again because it's showing through a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe just beat it up because I'm going to put so much black on it that you're not going to know it anyway. That's going to be as dark as these. But I'm going to wet sand it and dull it down, beat it up, do the airbrushing, and uh, clear it. I hope. I put Roth. So I'm going to mount you on the thing and show you how much work it takes just to do one aileron. Airbrushing it and uh, whatnot. The other wings out there, haven't touched it. One's done completely. The other one is just red. Um, what a beautiful machine. That's going to be fun. <clears throat> okay, here's the tripod I got for five bucks. It's really nice. It's even got a crank. I left the plastic on it because I'm going to be touching it and getting resin and paint and all kinds of stuff on it, so we'll leave it off now. All right, I'm going to point you that way, sit in my little plastic chair, wet sand that. I'm going to darken this fin, aileron, and I'm going to darken the tank some more, I believe. I'll bring that over here, but I'm going to put these on for right now. I don't know if I should add any black to this, maybe on the leading edge a little bit, but I don't want to put too many lines on it. I'm going to darken this too, this metal plate that holds it on just a little bit. Frickin' zoomed in. You bugger. Oh, this one's backwards compared to my other camera. Alright, having fun. Let me set you up and you can watch me every five seconds it takes a picture. Okay, see ya. Painted the, I'm sorry, I taped off the crosses on both sides. Alright, you seen I painted the nose cone way over there. I might as well bring you over there. I painted the screen for the speaker. But I also painted the slot where you would see the engine. It's all taped off. And it matches this slot right here. So I made the rest red. These are two air inlets and that would be the center of uh, the propeller wherever it would go. I just marked it so when we make something to go there, it'll, we know where it goes. But uh, I should be able to pull off this tape and everything underneath will be black. Underneath the tape, the washers and this little screw. Oh, that looks like shit from up close. Let's see. Oh, it looks terrible, don't it? It looks like uh, Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill, oh no. I'm going to let that dry and uh, Probably go do some more wet sanding. All right, back in a minute.
Well, as you can see, I airbrushed this side of the tank a little darker. I don't know what you can see. It's just a hair darker than the rear wing. I'll add some more dusting on that. But um, I like it. I like the darkness. I don't want a bright apple red or cherry red. I wanted it beat up and dirty and ripped. And the camera makes it look terrible. I know I keep saying that. That is freaking awesome. And someone said it pulls it all together. I like that. I still haven't painted that. <laughs> it's still red. Um, oh, here's the other aileron. Looking right at it. Look at all three of them together. I think I'm zoomed in. All right, let me set this down without dropping it. Okay. There's an aileron, the tank, and the elevator. All looking the same. The tank's just a little darker, but I can shade it with some red and bring it back, too. I think I'll do that when it's all back together. I'm kind of eyeballing it right now, making lines and ribs and raising the edges and taping off the cross. And I only put dirt on under edges and tail edges. Under edge, tail edge. I put it on the top on this one because there's a line there. But I like it. Looks good. I really didn't have time to do much, so I'm going in. Have a good night. It's another day. What is it? It's Friday night. There are all these bikes in my yard. I have to darken this one up. I think I'm actually going to paint it red again because it's pretty bad. This one's going to be darkened up some more. I'm going to darken up those center panels, make a few more lines. This one I have to do the X on and then darken it up. And over here I have to do this side of the tank, of which I never did. And this is the thing I made the other day. I took the grill and I painted the two circles in the middle. Actually, I just masked them off with a couple washers. And I made the black, but I also noticed I made it wrong. So I'm going to airbrush it down at an angle. Maybe make some circles underneath to look like an engine or something. Who knows? But what I used was a couple washers. Let me see those. See the washers? That's my boss's name. <laughs> So I get to darken this one and play with that one. I'm going to scuff it all up with the, uh, the pad first. It's a shame to take down this shiny red paint, but that's the whole idea. You can probably see it pretty good in the camera. You can't see it that much in the daylight, but when it gets some kind of a background, you'll see it. I'm thinking maybe me and Dad could find a wooden propeller to go there or something. All right, I'm going to play with the airbrush again. Having way too much fun with that thing. Time lapse.